label's cut out on this. I'm actually not even gonna wear it. Wow! Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I'm clearly holding a big old box again because we're about to do one of y'all's requests, okay? And multiple of you guys have mentioned this store to me which I had never heard of and it's called Everything Five Pounds. Now to my audiences from across the pond, hey! For those of you in USA, hello. Um, five pounds is about seven dollars. So basically, let's just call it everything seven dollars and basically it's this website where you can buy every single item and they're all priced at five pounds now that was kind of mind-blowing and then i watched the advert and the advert's got um i can't remember what this lady's name is like it's got this lady in it and she's like this top five pounds omg you're not gonna believe this omg you're not gonna believe this these jeans five pounds ripped jeans five pounds and then stating the obvious that on everything five pounds.com everything's five pounds i thought it was a bit crazy like how can everything be five pounds but um, doing a little bit of digging and doing a little bit of research when it comes to the website that what it seems, they update daily, they have new clothes on there daily but it isn't actually new clothes I think basically it is clothes from other brands. I'm not gonna say which brands I think it is because I'm not gonna try and get sued, but I think that they get items from other brands who have got leftover stock or lines that they didn't end up selling or that kind of stuff, and they give it to these people who are basically wholesalers. And having worked in retail, if you don't know, I used to work at Oasis, I worked at Coast, I worked in Selfridges. Um, I know that certain lines just, that you don't sell everything and you often have low of sizes left and I, I never thought what did they ever do with that but I have a feeling that they go to places like this so I haven't had a look I haven't had a look at inside this box and because everything was so, was so cheap five pounds I swear it was hard to spend a large number oh we can find out how much I spent my oh lord well it's quite nice it's got pictures I've never seen pictures on the receipt before everything five pounds oh I even got a bra yes I think I spent about 170 pounds on the website and I got a ton of items. It came really quick, obviously it's a UK website. I don't know if they ship, ship internationally, let me have a little quick look. Oh wow, they ship in the UK and they ship worldwide, who knew that? Uh, but you might end up paying some kind of customs. It came really, really quickly. The site was really easy to use. Or none of it was all like coordinating, but the models looked nice. And you know, it was it was a tidy website. And I'll be honest with you, like when I see five pounds, as much as I do these like Shein and all the, these websites, I prefer high quality items that cost a little bit more. Um, but you never know. Listen, if I find a bargain, I will wear it. And if it was five pounds, I'd be like, yes, girl, that was five pounds. I'm the first person to tell you if I got it for a bargain, trust me. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what we have in this box. The good thing is I don't have to keep looking at the prices because guess what? Five pounds. This says Millennium 2. Two is Tesco clothing, if you don't know. I feel like I might be exposing brands right now. Am I allowed to do this? I'm doing it, gonna do it anyway, whatever. Oh! This is a nice little summer, like, furry piece. Like, yes. Come on. Can you guys see the detail? It's kind of, like, cute and, like, fluffy. I mean, it's quite simple. It is quite simple. It's not. It's nothing really special. But I like it, like, like this, like an all-black outfit. I might even wear this today. This is very me with a little hat on. Let me show you with a hat on. Yes, cowboy. Cowboy realness. Cowboy realness. This is cute. Okay. This is a UR gold. Okay, this is a little tassel skirt. Doesn't look great. Doesn't look great. I thought I could be Beyonce, but let's try it on. You know what? That is a, my knees are so ashy right now, I'm so sorry. You know what, it's crazy. This is really nice. This is cute. This is a nice little holiday number. Look at that. Whoa, come on. That isn't a bad skirt at all though, is it? Look at that. Yes, movement, life. Movement, yes. I'm just gonna stand here like, doing this. Um, I love the skirt, I think it's nice. And guess what, it's five pounds. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like a mesh, see-through, um, like, 
little biker jacket. Z code for, I, I don't know what that is. Let's try this on. This is giving me very much of a like an Ivy Park vibe. This isn't bad at all. Look at that. Look at that on, it's really, really nice. I like the colors, I like the detail. I like the fit of that, that's really cute. And see, the thing is though, is that there might be one or two sizes of an item, but there won't be loads of them. So it's almost like you go one time, you find the item one time, but you might not be able to find it again. But that's really cute. Right, what is this? Every single label on it is a different label. This is give me Grandma Doris, Grandma Doris on holiday. <laughs> I hate these. I literally hate these. Why do they put these on clothing? You know, this is, I I'm not hating this. On camera, I'm not hating it. But maybe that means I'm turning into a Grandma Doris. I would just chill out in something like this, like chill at home in something like this. <laughs> like, I never want to be this woman, but I kind of like it. It's not bad, it's, but it isn't something fancy. The, the, these items are quite casual, you know? Ooh, oh, I picked up some denim. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. These are Primark. These are Primark. They say Denim and Co. It says Denim and Co. Denim and Co is Primark. Denim and Co is definitely Primark. Let us see what these bad boys look like on. I lost the nail, I lost another nail. These are what these look like on. They're, they're a little bit tight. They're actually quite a not so stretchy denim, which I don't hate. There's something about the, the crotch that it isn't quite short enough, so it's kind of hanging. There's a lot of space between vag and crotch, so it kind of gives you that kind of diaper, diaper thing there. But they're not, they're not bad jeans. They're not bad jeans at all. Oh, they're a bit long on the leg as well. Can you see that? So these are very long legs, so if you're short, there's a lot of extra material here. I'm liking my middle-aged housewife top. Why do I like it? This has to stop. Ugh. I know I didn't pick it, this out. Jeez. I'm not even, I'm not gonna wear it. I'm actually not even gonna wear it. <laughs> this is just giving me bronze sack. It's comfortable, but it isn't flattering. I kind of feel naked. I feel kind of free and naked though. Na, na, na. But I don't feel stylish at all. Oh, but this, this on the other hand is giving me bondage. Okay. This has got no label, no nothing on it. This piece, this piece of bondage. Let's try it on. I do like the style. Listen. Hold on, how do I do my leg? I did, I practiced this the other day and I looked great. Listen, this is giving me bondage. Bondage! The way it's just crisscrossing over here. Yes. Well, I need a little whip right now, you know. Hold on, we have to, we have to do the Instagram stand. Yes. Yes, come through shape. Loving this. I've had chocolate today, so just excuse the pouch from being extra big. Look. My bum is looking good in this. I am here for it. What the, what the hell is this? Well, I thought it was a jacket, but it is some kind of hooded poncho. Wow. Okay, I get it, I get it. I get how to wear it. This is... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I kind of like it, although I feel kind of toasty. I'm like sweating in this right now. And I'm shouting because it's like, wow, it was like a cavern in there. There's elements of this which are kind of cute. Is it just me? Is it just me? But this isn't going to keep you warm. Your kidneys are going to be so cold. I like the way my hands can appear. This way. But this is not a real coat. This is not a coat for life. Like on a day where the weather couldn't decide what it was doing, I just put on my like, my puffer cape coat. Ooh, you can get like pajamas and underwear. I think this is a pajama set I picked up. And it looks, oh, it's soft. Oh yes, oh my God, this is so cute. Look at this. Yes, little sexy boy shorts. Late nights and pillow fights. 
Tell me that's not cute. Tell me that is not cute. Oh, so look, the label's cut out on this, but I can tell it's from New Look, because I can see the N and I can see a K. It was from New Look. It was from New Look. That, no, that is adorable. Oh, I can't wait to try this one on. No. This is the most gorgeous little, like, go to bed set ever. Like, the, the short shorts are so cute. Late night and pillow. I would wear this in the day. This is when, you know those Instagram photos, you're like, late night, you got the sheet, like, oh, late nights and pillow fights. Hashtag so cool. Hashtag fetch. Hashtag. This is how I feel on this. It's cute. Oh, I literally, I'm, I'm done with the video. I'm gonna go to bed now. This is so cute. I feel like this is a great spot where you could get Christmas presents for people. This was five pounds. I love it! I got loads! Oh, another dress! It says luster on it. Very, very flimsy. Not nice material at all. Let's try it on though. This is so yuck. I find that some browns look like a poo brown on me. Okay, so this is this dress on, which the style actually isn't awful, but it isn't doing anything for just the lumpy, bumpy region. It just isn't doing anything for it. And the shade of brown is a poo brown. Although the fit isn't awful, but I just hate this kind of brown. Like, no. Oh, okay. SHK Classics. This looks like some fake varsity jacket. Did you just see that? It's molting on me. I have allergies. I will have allergies. No! It's just molting everywhere. Plus, it's very ill-fitting. It's weird. It's... Uh, it looked good on the model, but on me it looks struggle. It says experience quality, but this is not quality. This is bad. And we're back in Doris territory. There was an outfit called Doris. This is it. With the pearls. Pearl clutching. Doris, I've got your top. Wow. This is a Doris top, if there ever was a Doris top. Please just look at that. Let's just be a Doris for the moment. To be completely honest. I like it. I feel like I didn't choose the Doris life. The Doris life chose me. I feel comfortable, I feel cozy. I feel like, oh, it feels nice. It just feels cute. This is middle-aged woman. Hold on, I can tie it up to just be kind of cute or, no, no, no. No more Doris in the building. Yes, okay, here we go. This is a little body. This is nice. From 8 Paris, what's 8 Paris? I don't know who that is, but this is cute. Wow! <laughs> I'm wearing a skin tone bra. It literally looks like I've got no bra underneath. It's a skin tone bra. I think you have to wear this with a black bra. I've literally gone from flipping Doris to black China. With China. <laughs> this is nice though. But look, I have got a nude bra on it. This is my nude like skin tone bra. Nubian skin bra. Look at that! I love it. You guys know, I love me like any little mesh top or something like that. And this is a nice one. I would wear it with a black bra because this is a lot. It literally looks like my breasts are out. So I would wear a black bra or a black tank or something or vest underneath. But this is cute. Yeah, it's bringing sexy back. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> this is a look. Oh, clearly I liked it a lot because I picked it up in white as well. Oh, I love this. And I think that the nude bra doesn't look so bad under the white one. I really like this. I don't know the lyrics, so I'll be like, with China, then you know, with China. Got a race with China. I like this. This is gorgeous. I got myself some accessories. Well, a little cream hat. I'm autumn winter ready. Uh, these are so cute. I have to bring this thing up close so you guys can see this. Look at this. You know those little fur, little faux fur Russian hats? Cute! I feel like I'm doing that thing where you're so excited and you put all your outfits on at once. To be completely honest with you, right, you can buy these anywhere. Whenever I go to a Christmas market, I always pick one of these up. I've never had a cream one though. I look rich with this on. We need to look rich. We need to look rich. These hats are love or hate. Some people love them, some people hate them. But what I do think is that they genuinely keep your head warm. And this was £2.50 actually. They do keep your head warm when it's cold, you don't even care. 
this stinks, this smells, and it says, <laughs> it says, poof, poof. That is a hilarious word. This is so ugly. This looks like we've gone back to pensioner. It stinks. Why does it smell? This looks like a scarecrow outfit. <laughs> You know when a scarecrow, they have a top on and they've got all the straw like hanging out the sides? This literally looks like a scarecrow outfit. No bueno. This is a particularly sexy red dress. Thin material. It's made of quite flimsy material, I'm not gonna lie, but let's try it on. This is one lady in red dress. It's quite thin, so everything is on show. I'm having to suck in so hard right now. This is very, very sexy. Probably a little bit too sexy for me. I like a little bit of sexy, but then there's like, hi, woman in red. It's cute though. Okay, this is a varsity jacket, I think. Or is it a jumper? Young District, it says Young District, and it's got some Asian writing on it again. It's a little bit fake varsity. The sweater material isn't great on it. Let's get this on. Right, so this what this jumper looks like on. It's not an ugly design, but I don't know. There's something that's not kosher about it. It doesn't look right. Oh my gosh, I picked up this bra. It's a new look bra, but it's cute. Okay, yes. Little balconet new look bra there. I'm not gonna try on a bra for you guys. I might do an underwear haul. If you wanna see me do an underwear haul, let me know. That's the little cute balconet. It's even got the new look, like, badge on it, so we know it's from new look. It's made of nice material. 8 Paris. I've got a top that looks very, very similar to this. Um, I'm, just, I'm gonna try that on. This is just a nice little casual like top. Then it goes from casual to like swag. Look at that. Hello, Miss Expensive. Yes. But I was only five pounds. Look at that. I love that little button detail on there. Sometimes it's just little details that make a lot of difference. It's literally a really basic top. I get stuff like this off ASOS. That's quite nice there. I bought weave, I bought a bundle. Do you know what, I saw it on there and I was like, why did they have this? This is just a synthetic ponytail. Oh, it's kind of shiny though. And that's a decent piece size, <laughs> if I do say so myself. You know what, that isn't even bad hair, you know, for a little synthetic, for five pounds. I think this was two pound 50 as well. If you're looking for synthetic clippings, you might be able to go to everything five pound. This is like one of those half head ones that you put in just the back or just the top. Not bad at all. Look at it, it's cute and it's quite full. I mean, I'm not advising go and buy human hair weave from everything five pounds. If you're looking for some extra body or volume for a night out. Okay, finally, I've got this little black dress. Let's try this on. This is very nice. This is not made of like great, fantastic, amazing material. But it's the same kind of stuff you can get on pretty little things for so 15 to 25 pounds. So for this being five pounds, this is a really nice style. Um, wow, it's cute though. This is a little going out swanky dress. Not thick material, not like, yay, I, you know, wonderful, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Listen, I love showing a little clavicle, you know. A little clavicle goes a long way. If you don't have cleavage, you have clavicle. I'm done, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Right, so that's it, that is my review on everything five pounds. I'm still wearing the dress and loving it. Um, I do think the site is great to go to for like casual home wear. And it's obviously from a lot of mainstream, more affordable stores and they're selling it for five pounds, which is great. And that stock that would have probably, you know, be, got, went to landfill or maybe been set on fire or something. I don't know, I don't know how each store works. But um, I feel like it's quite a nice place to go to. Not for like styling your whole wardrobe. You might want to just go over there because you're looking for some pajama sets. So overall, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I think the site is cool. It's not a curated style. There's nothing amazing about the style of the items. Some of them are quite cheap and thin material. Some of them are quite nice quality. And um, I do feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that a lot of the items are like off cuts from our high street stores although it's like from primark i don't mind new look but yeah it's affordable for those of you who are looking for something for a bit more of a bargain everything five pounds and in total i spent 170 pounds so yeah I, I feel like i got a lot for my money there 
for sure. Okay guys, I think that's it from me. If you're not following me on my social, make sure you check me out. And if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. You can just press the red button. And um, yeah. Oh no, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a closet clear out and organize. Actually, if you wanna see that, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, because I'll, I'll film myself doing that. So you guys, a lot of people are like, what does your room look like? What does your closet look like? I've got bags, literally bags of clothing. But I plan on giving a lot away to charity and also trying to sell some to raise some money for charity so keep your eyes peeled okay guys thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye